Have you ever wondered about places where rain hardly ever falls? These mysterious places are called deserts. They are like giant playgrounds covered in sand, rocks, and secrets just waiting to be discovered. But don't be fooled by their dry appearance. Deserts are full of life. Deserts are found all over our planet, but what makes them so special? Well, the answer is simple. Deserts are super dry. They receive very little rain throughout the year, which makes them very different from rainforests or grasslands. Imagine trying to water a plant with just a few drops from an eyedropper. That's how little rain deserts get. This lack of water creates a unique challenge for the plants and animals that live there. But don't worry, they have their own clever ways of surviving. Deserts can be hot or cold, but they all have one thing in common. They are very, very dry. Now that we know what makes a desert a desert, let's pack our imaginary bags and explore the different types, shall we? First stop, the hot and dry deserts. These scorching landscapes are what often come to mind when we think of deserts. Picture towering sand dunes sculpted by the wind, stretching as far as the eye can see. The Sahara Desert in Africa, the largest hot desert in the world, is a perfect example. During the day, the sun beats down with incredible intensity, making the sand too hot to touch. But don't worry, even in this extreme heat, life finds a way. Animals like camels, with their special humps that store fat for energy and water, have adapted to survive these harsh conditions. Next up, we're heading to the coasts, where we'll discover a different kind of desert, the coastal desert. These deserts are found on the edges of continents, where the land meets the sea. The Atacama Desert in South America, one of the driest places on Earth, is a prime example. Coastal deserts are cooler than hot and dry deserts, but they still receive very little rainfall. The air here is often thick with fog, which provides some moisture for the plants and animals that call this place home. One such plant is the Welwitchia, a bizarre-looking plant that can live for over 1,000 years. It has only two leaves that grow continuously throughout its life, absorbing moisture from the fog that rolls in from the ocean. Next up, the polar deserts. Uh, polar deserts are the coldest type of desert. They are found in the Arctic and Antarctic. Polar deserts are covered in ice and snow, and they have very little vegetation. Our final destination takes us to the most surprising type of desert, the cold desert. These frozen landscapes are covered in snow and ice for most of the year. The Gobi Desert in Asia, known for its extreme temperatures, is a classic example. You might be wondering how can a place covered in ice be considered a desert? Well, even though it's frozen, the air in cold deserts is incredibly dry. In fact, they receive even less precipitation than hot and dry deserts. Animals like kangaroo and rabbits are perfectly adapted to survive in these harsh conditions. Plants are fewer and further between in cold deserts, but look out for lichens. These hardy organisms are a combination of algae and fungi living together, and they can survive even the most extreme cold. From the scorching sands of the Sahara to the icy plains of the Gobi, deserts are places of incredible beauty and wonder. They might seem harsh and unforgiving, but they are teeming with life that has found ingenious ways to thrive in these challenging environments. As we've explored the different types of deserts, we've encountered animals and plants that have captured our imaginations and taught us about the power of adaptation. So, the next time you think of a desert, remember it's not just an empty wasteland. It's a vibrant ecosystem full of unique and fascinating creatures, all playing a vital role in the delicate balance of life on Earth.